Hello, and welcome to this Therapeutic Thursday. So I've got a fun activity for us. I love doing this. Um, this is going to be a three-part series. So there, there will be three videos, um, pretty short ones. And what it is called is your tarot story. So I love doing this activity um, at least once a year, sometimes um, sooner if you're having you know, some changes in your life, in your journey, if there are some, you know, significant things, uh, it's wonderful to do. So I love this experience and I'm happy to be sharing it with you. Some of you may have, remember I did this a few years back in the Facebook group that I run um, and did this with activity with some members who joined me in a live, um, a, a live presentation type of thing for this. So this is going to be something I hope you all enjoy. Um, please do not, if you know what this is about, uh, please refrain from, um, from commenting on and you know, letting people know how the end goes because I would love people to be able to get through this on their own. Um, very very uh, therapeutic type of um, activity that we're doing here. So how you do this is if you have a tarot deck and really any tarot deck will work. I like using ones that are, you know, more based off the writer weight that, um, you know, that the, the visuals are more similar to that, but you can use whatever you want and you can even, you know, change this up. You can pick Oracle decks if you want. However, again, I love at least for the first time utilizing a writer weight type of tarot deck. And then what I want you to do is take out all of the major arcana cards. So there are 22 total. So you can pause this and go into head and take out, get your tarot deck, take out um, the 22 cards. Also grab yourself a notebook and pen or have a computer handy. So, and let me know when you come back, right? So I'll just give you a moment. And welcome back everyone. So you have your 22 cards and right now I am using, I like this, this is a nice deck. Um, the Luna Soul Tarot is the deck that I will be using. So again, I've got my 22 cards, my major arcana cards here. Shuffle them. Make sure you shuffle them good. And just use your intuition, whichever, you know, you want three cards. So what you're doing, lay them down like, um, you know, when you do just a three card spread, whether it's past, you know, present, future, whatever, but three cards. So lay them out next to each other. And I'm going to do that right now. And if you're like me, sometimes you'll shuffle them in between, but, you know, do however you would like. Interesting. Okay. You'll have to let me know what your cards are. So for me... My first card is the chariot, the chariot. So that is my first card. My second card is the emperor. And my third card is justice, which is interesting. This is actually my card from last week. So now what I want you to do is either get on your computer or whatever you have, you can type this or write it. I want you to take no more than 10 minutes and I want you to write a story. So what you have is your first card. This is how you start it. Once upon a time. So I would like you to start your story with once upon a time. And then what do you see in this picture? You know, look at and don't pay any attention to what the actual meaning of the card is. I mean, if you know that, that's fine. but. It, I would say don't even really go into that. Really looking at the picture, what is portrayed in the picture. This is what's going to help you write this story. So again, start your story out with once upon a time and then look at, you know, your first card. And this is the beginning of your story. Okay. And again, about 10 minutes, no more than 10 minutes. And then for the middle part of your story, look at your second card. And again, look at the visuals here, you know, like look at the mountains in the background here. Um, you know, there's a lamb there. Oh, why is he standing like that? You know, <laughs> look at all of that and create the middle part of your story with this middle card, with that second card. And then you're going to finish off. The ending of your story is with your third card. Again, look at the visuals of the card. Create this story. 
okay? This is like your fairy tale. This is, this is your fantasy story. So go ahead and do that. Take your 10 minutes to write your story. And I promise it will be a lot of fun. Hang out next week, come back, and I will share the second part of this wonderful activity that is called Your Tarot Story. So thank you very much for joining me, and I love to see you next week. Thank you.